One of the most frustrating things that I hear every single day from parents is that once they got the ADHD diagnosis, they just continually followed all of the recommendations that were given to them. They've spent so much money and invested so much time, and they have just seen little to no progress. Not only have they seen no progress and they deal with these same exhausting behaviors every single day, but now they report that their child is just completely adverse to all help. And every parent's number one concern when I do that first initial intake call with them is how am I possibly going to get my child to accept help? How am I going to get them to come to your office? How am I going to get them to get on that Zoom call? They don't want anything to do with any sort of coaching or help or skill building or building their self-awareness around their needs. So this is a total lost cause because my child now has been through so many unsuccessful therapies. They now can't even hear the word therapy, the word coaching, anything, counseling, and I have no chance of getting them to accept help. The root of all of these issues is that ADHD continues to be so unbelievably misunderstood. It is not an attention disorder. It is a developmental disorder and a developmental delay of the executive functioning system. And there are three zones of executive functions. It's not just time management and organization. There's home executive functioning and self-regulation towards parents, which is most often the number one need. Then there's academic executive functioning, getting schoolwork done, getting good grades, study skills. And then social executive functioning, the ability to make friends and keep friends and use perspective taking skills. This is what has to be understood before the ADHD child can be helped by a professional. And because this is still so misunderstood by the individuals who are providing these recommendations, kids with ADHD are being sent to inappropriate therapies and counseling and most often talk therapy. How is talk therapy and talking about your feelings possibly going to strengthen the internal skills of executive function? It isn't. It's just going to make the problems worse, lead to no progress, and cause the child to become therapy adverse. When it comes to ADHD, the name of the game has to be parent coaching. I am really getting sick and tired of hearing about parents bringing their child to therapy and never being involved, never knowing what's happening in those sessions, and never knowing what to do in between sessions. Because of the way the ADHD brain works, they are stuck in the present moment. So parents need strategies they can use in real time to help their child become regulated. It's all parent coaching.